and we were exploring around a little bit. But now I guess it's time to come here to the lake. Here's a piece of heart. If you dive in. <coughs> Which is something that I didn't find the first time right away. You can't get on these surfaces because there's not like a lower surface that we can climb up. <coughs> but... Ow. We can swim as a minish, and we'll have access to new areas. Let's see what's around here. Uh, oh, there's a hole here. Whoa. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, it's really slippery. It almost reminds me of how the hover boots feel, pretty much. But I guess it's like less slippery on on Ocarina of Time. I don't remember the ice being too slippery. But here is like one step just takes you all the way down. Oh, almost fell there. <coughs> Righty, King Stone piece. Not much of a big deal, but I guess we could always use more reds. Oh. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna not, um, I'm probably not gonna go as far as to try and find absolutely everything with the flippers, but at least, you know, oh. Yeah, I better be careful here. I wish they put you like in, like in the corner instead of dropping you all the way to the entrance. Or at least to the entrance spot that you were standing. I guess I'm gonna have to come come back later to the Minish Woods. <coughs> Cause there's like a lot more water areas that I remember. Um... See what else we can find around here as a minish. Whoa. We have something. <coughs> and we can fuse with this guy. I don't get to fuse blue ones that often. So here we have yet another one of those uh, plants that go all the way up to the to the sky. Only that the area is unfamiliar to me. At least they're mar marked on, ma on the map, so <clears throat> later it'll be a lot easier to find. <clears throat> yeah, sure. Okay. Can't get that part yet. Uh. Let's see what's down here. We gotta get, um... Here's the temple. Let me, uh, grow for a moment. We gotta... Oops. <coughs> Called the bird for nothing. He's probably pissed right now. <laughs> uh, hmm. What's in here? Oh, there it is. And more wasted rupees. Wish I had something to buy. Wonder how you enter the temple. A minish. Oh, I think it was this one. And nope. No, I, th 
think you gotta be big and the temple pretty much makes you small. So I don't seem to be able to get in like this. <coughs> Alright. Ugh. Oh, it almost hit me. And, uh, we got this heart here. Ah, oh, come on! Man, I completed a heart container. Awesome. The more the better. This is... I think this is a little shortcut that I saw up there. Oh! Another swordsman training. Hola. His name is Wave... Wave... Master. So, let's see what we can learn. Apparel beam. So, basically, you fire a beam from your sword when you have only one heart. So, it's kind of like, like a last resort uh, thing. The older generation Zelda games had this uh, function fire beams from your sword, but it was usually when you had full life, so here's kind of like the opposite. Uh, can't fuse. But I think there's another trainer around that gives you uh, the regular one, which is to uh, fire beams when you have full hearts. So that's a shortcut, but, uh, although I don't know how much that that's worth, because you know, we can pretty much swim now, so... <laughs> it's kinda useless, I guess. Right, so we're ready to... get into the temple. I don't know how long I'll take to finish it. Brrr! Shatter, shatter! I'm freezing here! If you don't find that element quickly, I'm going to turn into a... Hatsicle. <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> yeah, so basically it's an ice temple. Although, it's uh... What? This floor is made out of ice. Be careful not to fall and freeze your... Wow, thank you for your... For your warning. You know? That, you, you totally... were totally in time for it. <laughs> your timing is perfect. Yeah, so basically, uh, this game's water temple is actually an ice temple. And it's similar to the situation we had when, uh, Adult Link on Ocarina of Time, uh, had that situation where everything was frozen. I guess there's, like, water at some point, but I'm, I'm not really sure about that. I think it's mostly just ice. And you pretty much have to uh, look for ways to melt the ice using sunlight. Because apparently the sun here is like super hot. <laughs> Sunlight's shining through. Ah, oh, it's so nice and warm. I can feel myself starting to defrost again. You know, it would have made like a little bit more sense if there was like a ma magnifying glass enhancing the the sunlight, but I guess I'm just asking for a little too much. Hmm, it looks like something is frozen inside this block of ice. Let's see, why don't, why don't you take a look? Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks for the advices that make no sense. And I got a key. So, this, uh, basically the puzzles of this temple are to melt the ice of objects and it's not really that hard oh come on open ah crazy they're crazy I guess here I don't have a choice but to drop so I don't see any other way <coughs> Here we have a switch, here we have a few blocks. So the other blocks, I guess you use one to get the 
the key block to the other side. And that's already the boss key, which is interesting because you usually get the boss key like at the end of the uh, temple. But this time around, we're, you're getting it so early. <coughs> Although I think I did this wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really good at figuring out things in one shot. So let me just look around. There's this block there. I think I know what to do. Let's push this here. And then I get this one. Whoops. Oh, so slippery. Here. And I push this over there. There we go. And I use this switch. Oh, no, it's the opposite. I can't use it yet. <laughs> I gotta melt this thing first. And then I'll close it, because then upstairs I can move across without falling. There we go. I got a big key! Yeah, that wasn't too hard. Let's get out of here. But there's a special reason why we get the big key so early. Ah. You think I got a, a heart from this one? Not that it really matters if you're missing one, but you know. Better be at 100% all the time. Push down. Whoa! So as you can see, this door is the big key door. So... Here's the element. Hey! Well done, Uzi. This looks... This looks to be the element. Alright. But what will, we, what will we do? Can't even touch it while it's trapped in that ice. We'll need to melt it off somehow. usually get a boss battle um, when you open the the big key door but this time around we had just the element right there under our noses but it's frozen so we'll need to figure out how to get that melted I got a map guess it'll be useful if I want to find everything here You know, if later on I get inspired in fighting, finding most of the hearts or whatever, I guess I'll just do like a <clears throat> like a special video where I fast forward to where the rest of the the remaining hearts are at the end of the game. But that's uh, you know, that's something I'll just have to think about. Just like I said, I'm really not familiar with this game that much, so it would have to be like a full exploration, and you guys know me, I don't use strategy guides and stuff like that, so I just like to find things on my own. Uh, let me pull this. Whee! I guess we... Go. Can't go through here because this thing looks like it pushes up. So I guess we go down the waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that looked dangerous. Here we're gonna be using the dive to avoid getting hit by that thing. Uh, the way forward is hidden in the bottom of the pot. This is basically some kind of riddle. Let's see what it means. Ah, I get it. So you see this 
these blocks here, they represent a, a pot, so you just... There we go. <laughs> At the bottom of the pot. So that's... Yeah, that was too easy to figure it out. Alrighty, whoa! Let's go back up, because we got a key now. Yeah, I guess it's, this temple is okay for being a water temple. There's like not that much water anyway. I mean, there is water, but you know, the whole temple is not revolving around having to be in the water all the time. So that's a good thing. I guess that's the, the thing that hurts most about water temples. It's being in the water all the time. That's kind of weird. But I guess the, the only uh, temple that was infamous was the water temple from Ocarina of Time. Everybody just says the same thing about it. Everybody uh, misses that one key and that's why it was so frustrating for everyone. I've, I've heard literally uh, from people uh, when they were watching my, my Let's Play, uh, they, they left comments saying that they never actually beaten the game before because of the water temple and I said that you know, I totally understand, because uh, the first time, you know, I was ba barely, like, um, I think I was, like, 14 or, or something like that. And I could not figure out, for the life of mine, the, the water temple, and I spent, like, I believe it was, like, two months in it. <laughs> I but, but I spent two months in it not trying to find anything, but more like... I got to the water temple and then I just started the game all over again because I thought that I screwed up, that I basically ruined something. I even came to believe that the game was glitched. So, uh, yeah. And then when I found it, I just felt really stupid. <laughs> oh great, I did that wrong. Yeah, it would be good if I get rid of these webs. Because they kind of like push you when you're trying to hit that thing. Oh. Alright. Let's, uh, let's try and get this guy. Ugh. Come on. Now I should do that one more time, and he should die. Uh. Okay, there we go. Wow, one rupee. That was awesome. <laughs> and here we have a pump ass. <laughs> If you're new to my videos and you don't know why I call it Comp Ass, you should check my uh, my Wind Waker uh, Let's Play. That's where the Comp Ass was born. Well, it, I did it on the other LPs, but there in Wind Waker is where I decided that I was going to call it that for the rest of my life, pretty much. Oh, uh, this is just the uh, little room to view. Well, I'm getting close to 20 minutes. Um, whoa. So here we have, yet again, another puzzle. Oh, darn it. I really hate grabbing rupees that I'm not going to be using. But whatever. I'm pretty sure I can afford anything at this point. Whoops. So I'm clearing out the way because I gotta push some blocks here. You gotta get that switch. Uh, figuring out stuff.
Let's see now. <sighs> I don't know, I feel like I did it wrong already. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, when, when I don't figure out things at first, they seem kind of hard, but then when I figure it out, then I feel kind of stupid. I'm like, wow. Like, that was so easy. You know what? Um, I'm going to try this off screen, and then I'll see you guys on the next one. And, uh... I'll see if I can show you on screen how you can figure it out. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.